Well, each time we go out into space on a spacewalk, it's uh, a little bit dangerous, and it's definitely really difficult. And it's also a lot of fun, especially uh, when you've trained really well for it and you know what, uh, you know what you're doing. So it's not that scary. Uh, you open up the door and you see beautiful planet Earth floating below. You float outside. You make sure you have your safety tethers connected so you won't float away. And uh, you don't learn that uh, you know, just uh, by studying it in a book. We actually practice it a lot here on planet Earth. And the best place, the almost the only other place that you can kind of simulate being in space is uh, inside a, a big swimming pool. Here at the Johnson Space Center, we call it the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, or the NBL. And I've spent a lot of time getting ready for my spacewalks, both the American spacewalks and the Russian spacewalks, by spending time here at the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory. And we have a full mock-up of the International Space Station, especially the airlock. We practice opening the hatch. Of course, when we open the hatch, we see uh, a scuba diver's face there. We don't really see planet Earth. Uh, but it's, uh, just, uh, it's just like being in space. And we practice setting our safety tethers. We practice uh, turning the bolts and uh, putting out the scientific experiments, bringing them back in, and doing it safely and efficient, efficiently. And sometimes you don't even know what you're going to do on your, on your mission because the unknown things happen, something breaks that we weren't expecting. So we get a good set of skills here. And to build up the good set of skills, we need, need to practice things over and over uh, inside the neutral buoyancy laboratory. So we wear, wear a real spacesuit, and we stay inside the water for six hours practicing all the necessary skills to have a space, safe spacewalk. And, uh, it, and it paid off on one of my mis missions. We had an unexpected spacewalk because a part of the space station broke. We just put on our suits and went outside, uh, moved things around, turned a few bolts, replaced the, the power module, and uh, we were back in business. And, it, uh, and nobody was worried about it at all because we had really good training.